Right then, another small video. Moving away from there, the, it's going to be very windy when I turn the camera around in a minute. But look at this vast expanse of the hams, Paul at Hams, marshlands. Yesterday I was over there. I had that on Zoom then. So I'll come back and. I was over that copse there where the derelict buildings were. Yeah, good job I noticed it was on Zoom again. I'll just go back to what I said. Look at this vast expanse of all at hams and marshlands. And I've just come from along that way. The wind's very fierce in front of me, so it'll be very noisy when I turn the camera around in a minute. John the Baptist right over there and into the wind and not on zoom but look how green it all is look and that little copse is just over there so it's just a I've seen two cars arrive with about three or four dogs a minute ago golden retrievers well they might be doing the other loop the other way and then back round This, like I say, this is a big loop. But it's brilliant for dogs when the cows aren't around, isn't it? You can see where before now, though, they have allowed access to the public by having electric fences along here. But um, whether they'll do put them up again, who knows? It's also to stop them falling in the river, I think. They can get stuck, apparently. That is one of the problems with cows. Um, the farmer told me, he said, um, <laughs> they got, they're a bit thick when it comes to mud and they can't seem to lift their legs out of it and they get stuck. <laughs> I remember him telling me that and that's why they have to wait until the mud is less muddy, less wet and sticky. Over in the distance there, we've got the spire of St. Mary's Church. Not that. Um, where is it? Not that pylon. No, there it is. St. Mary's Church Bridgewater again. Like I said, this is deja vu. I only did it a year ago. With quite a good camera. It's still a good camera. And you can zoom on video with it, but you can't zoom on photos. I didn't bring it today. I've got my backup <coughs> battery charger with me. So I can't see me doing too much. It's very windy, so I'm just doing short ones. Just keeping an eye out for any... <coughs> any, uh... Anything, anything, anything. <laughs> So it looks like this, the river is coming in now. It must have been on the turn when I first arrived. I think it was what's, what you call on the turn. No, it couldn't have been. It must have still been coming in. Yeah, you still need a, a decent coat. I didn't bring scarf. I've got gloves and a hat though. <coughs> I don't feel as if I need the hat. Um, now I should imagine in um, the summer, if you do come out here, anyone, when the, the mass herds are here, by the way, don't forget that, I would think <laughs> it would be hot and nice, but we're only just at the start of spring, but you will always get the wind, I think, quite a lot of the time. Uh, when the tide is, and the tide's coming in. Now the other day, it was going out and I had the tide against me because I was walking towards 
I was going, I was coming this way, but the tide was going out. I had the wind against me. Now, now it's coming in. I've got it against me, going the other other way. Yeah, there's a lot, of, quite a few gates to get through, but we're not on the turn yet. We will be what I call on the turn in a minute, where we start to arch round. Right over there, go right over there. I mean, you can go straight across to that copse if you want. If you want a quick way to get out, you can go straight across. No, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Like I say, it's hard work when you're against the wind because it's, it's forcing itself into your lungs, actually. So if there's any radiation in the air, I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of it. And it could be very radioactive out here for all I know. Who knows? You don't see no one out here. They don't grow plant. They don't grow plants out here, look. But I suppose I'll have a dose once a year ain't gonna hurt us out. I've been out twice now. Um, it'll probably be another year, or if not, I have to wait to the autumn. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that do this. I am sure there's a lot of people that do this walk in the summer. It's a, I, I don't know how big the herds are. I, I, I haven't been out this far to see. The nearest I'd get is going down that lane over there and looking when you go down the lane. That's the nearest I would be able to get to seeing them. Right, over and out. Over and out, everyone. There's Cummich over there, which I'm aiming for. It's on the other side of the river, but that's where I will go to pick up the little track that I go take me back to the the hangar. But I'm going to come up another little track and rejoin back there. Plan A. Over and out.